Hi, this is JP from Nota Lights Over Arkham. This time in the Mad Titan Shadow playthroughs, we are playing the final scenario in the box, and this is Loki. And the reason Loki is not revealed yet, we have to pick Loki a villain from amongst the multiple different Loki villain cards, so that is why uh, those are still the wrong way around. Uh, in addition, uh, we have the Infinity Gauntlet set aside here, and we have the Infinity Stone deck over there next to the Gauntlet. Then, uh, per setup, we have put the War in Asgard uh, in play. We are playing with Adam Warlock and the pre-built deck for Adam Warlock, and Loki is on standard difficulty. So, uh, in the rules, it tells us that uh, for standard difficulty, we need to defeat Loki, uh, two versions of Loki, so that is our goal. And not uh, really much else to say about this scenario. I tried one game and it feels quite hard, so not looking forward that it will be an easy, easy game. So let's get started. So we are ready to start. I'll just uh, first flip this over, um, and before that, we have to pick one of the set aside lucky cards. So I'll just give this a quick shuffle, and we'll see which lucky we'll get first. So we get uh, this version of Loki. So Loki has Stalwart Victory One. The Victory One is basically just so that it goes in the Victory Display and can't come out again. Uh, when defeated, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a side scheme is discarded, remove that side scheme. And Loki has a three scheme, one attack. I'll put this over here because we might need to change that version of Loki sometime soon. Then uh, let's see. Just double checking. So, yeah, we still need to reveal the top card of the Infinity Stone deck. So, we'll do that. And we get Power Stone. So, uh, when this special activates, you are stunned. If you were already stunned, take three damage. Place this card in the Infinity Stone discard pile. So, I'll place it over here. And we can draw our opening hand. Uh, just a reminder, uh, the Adam Warlock pre-built deck comes with uh, cards from all of the aspects, so uh, aggression, leadership, justice and protection, and also some basic cards. And we get a heroic intuition, make the call, major victory, zone of silence, magic attack, and cosmic ward. So, I am definitely keeping the zone of silence because we want to get rid of the war on Asgard as fast as possible to get rid of the acceleration token. Uh, heroic intuition could be good to keep. Uh, I think the make the call can go. When majority. Uh, we could play major victory. But we'll see. I'll just keep it in a hand and draw one card. Mystic Senses. Okay, well, I think we might not play Heroic Intuition yet. We need to set up some other cards first. So, first thing first, um, we will flip to Hero Mode. I will play the Zone of Silence, and I will use, uh, use the Cosmic Ward for it. Then uh, we'll uh, remove 4 threat from a scheme. Then uh, we can discard up the 4 cards from the top of the deck, remove 1 threat from that scheme for each card discard this way. We still need so I'll uh, discard three cards. So we lose Innovation, Shield Spell and Audacity. So we discard three more here. This goes away. 
but there are some triggers here. So when defeated, reveal the top card of the Infinity Stone deck. Uh, swap Loki with a random set aside Loki villain, so we won't be fighting against this. Uh, the reason I put uh, 20 health here is that uh, I think every Loki has 20 health, so we will shuffle, we'll put that aside so we can't get the same one. We shuffle these. And we get this version of Loki, this goes back here. So this version of Loki is uh, one. Scheme 3 attack, uh, Stalwart victory 1 when defeated, discard course from the top the counter deck until a side scheme is discarded, this, uh, reveal that side scheme, so basically the same but with attack, and uh, I'll mark the Stalwart with this one, so we can stun or confuse Loki. And uh, then uh, I think I will uh, build up so I will uh, uh, use uh, Major Victory and Eric Intuition to play Mystic Senses. So, Mystic Senses is a two cost upgrade condition for power. Hero response after you resolve Adam War Warlock's Battle Mage ability draw one card. So it uh, gi gives us some uh, mm, tempo, and I'll use the Battle Mage ability with aggression to deal two damage here. We draw a card, uh, we get Armored West, which is not that useful. Uh, we can't do this again. Uh, well, it's once per phase, so we could uh, use it in the villain phase. So that this is actually. Well, we don't have allies, so never mind. Uh, I'm still thwarting for. Actually, I'm just hitting for one here. That is our turn. Uh, we ready up. I'm drawing back to. Five. We get a uh, Warlock's Cape, Karmic, uh, Karmic Blast, Cosmic Ward, Karmic Blast, and Armor Quest. Uh, then we go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Loki attacks. Uh, I'll defend with Adam Warlock. Uh, three, four, plus. Is six, so three damage comes through. Then uh, you are stunned. This goes away. So we get stunned, and we get an encounter card. And it is Loki's crown. Uh, attacks Loki, heroes bronze. After um, you make a basic attack against Loki, spend a mental and a physical resource. Discard, discard. That's this card to Loki, and this gives Loki plus one scheme, so we probably want to get rid of it some, at some point. Uh, but that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, well, well, I think I'm playing the Warlock's Cape here, so I'm using Cosmic Ward and Armor Best to play it. No, uh, yeah. So protection heal one damage from an ally. So I'm using one of the karmic blasts for it. Then uh, I'll use Loki's uh, battle mage ability to heal one damage from an ally. We don't have an ally in place so nothing gets healed, but we still trigger the cloak so we get ready. And we draw a card, another karmic blast. So we're getting all of the karmic blasts right away, which is not that great. And I will thwart for one, flip to alter ego, then uh, discard a card from your hand, remove a status card. So I'm just discarding this to get rid of the stunned. And that is our turn, we're ready up. And we keep the karmic blast. So one, two, three, four, five, six cards. The Marvel Boy inspired uh, Charlie 27, the Gardner, Martin X, and karmic blast. We'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to Loki's main scheme, Loki schemes for 3 plus, uh, that's this card to Loki, Loki's staff. Um, so, uh, after you make a basic attack against Loki, spend uh, 
energy and a physical resource discards this card and it gives plus one to Loki. So Loki is getting all of the boosts in play. And uh, so that was the scheming of three, so we are up to five. Encounter card for this turn is Master of Illusions. Attached to Loki. Force <laughs> interrupt when Loki would take damage from an attack. Discard the top card of the encounter deck. That card is a treachery. Prevent all damage from this attack and discard this card. Uh, so I'll put it over here so uh, it shows that we have we remember to activate it if Loki is taking any damage. And it needs actually it needs to be an attack, so I'll put it over here. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I also forgot to reveal a new uh, infinity gauntlet uh, or infinity stone from the deck when Loki schemes. So we get the reality stone. So discard an ally, upgrade or support the control play, place discard in the discard. So that comes into play on the last turn. Uh, start the hero phase, so I think I am just uh, flipping and I am you really don't have good cards to remove threat or anything like that so uh, this version of Loki doesn't have a, a piercing or anything, so I think could play Charlie 27. Yeah, let's play that. So I'm uh, using Martin X Gardner inspired and keep and karmic blast. Actually, uh, let's not play Charlie yet. We will we'll hit for one damage by attacking, so we'll check this, so if it's a treachery we ignore the damage, it is uh, a, a minion, so uh, the one damage goes through, let's just double check. Okay, so this stays in play until we ignore the damage. So. Uh, then I will discard Marvel Boy. Ready, Adam Warlock, and deal two damage here. And this is not an attack, so we'll just deal the damage. And Adam will attack again. We check this again. Uh, this time it's a treachery, so uh, we prevent the damage, and this goes away. Then uh, we'll draw a card actually when we played the Marble Boy. And uh, now I'll use um, these four cards to play Charlie 27. And uh, uh, I think that is everything we are doing so we'll keep the karmic blast in hand are we ready up one two three four five we get the for justice eternity quasar cosmic awareness and karmic blast we'll go to the villain phase we add one threat to the main scheme uh loki attacks i will defend with charlie 27 so four five uh Give Loki an additional boost card for, and a tough status card, so we add tough. And plus two, uh, we only remove the tough, and uh, we have retaliate one, so we also punch the tough from Loki, which is really good. Encounter card for this turn is uh, it is uh, Rene, uh, regeneration cycle, so extra. May flip to Alter Ego Exhaust. I'll do that. So I'll go to Alter Ego. I'll exhaust to get rid of this. So that goes out of play. 
And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, this should be readied. But let's see what we can do on this turn. So I think we're just flipping back to hero mode. We are playing the Cosmic Awareness and uh, I'm using Eternity and Fort Justice. So we remove three threat from a scheme. Then uh, I will discard uh, four cards and remove one additional threat for each card. Discard it, one, two, three, four. Oh yeah. So this alley upgrade or support, I think we are losing the mystic senses or the reality stone, which I forgot to do last turn. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm keeping forgetting the <laughs> infinity stones, but I'll try to remember better next time. So we lose uh, cosmic awareness, summoning spell, combat training, and cornering staff. We remove all of the threat from here. We'll just keep this in hand. Just double check if we didn't have anything too costed to play here. So uh, we keep this. I'm not using the Battle Mage ability this turn. Uh, we could actually get rid of the stuff. I'll do that actually. I'm. Uh, I can't do it if I won't basic attack so never mind I'll keep those going back to five readying everything so we have living tribunal mystic senses uh, in betweener was our farming blast we go to the villain phase we add one threat to the main scheme blocky attacks uh, Charlie will defend so five plus two is seven so uh, Charlie 27 is defeated, so the retaliate will trigger, unfortunately. Uh, we'll get an encounter card, and it is uh, Devious Sorcery. Uh, you are stunned if you were already stunned, take 2 damage, so we get the stun status card. And that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. And just as I said, uh, I keep forgetting about this, so when Loki activated, we got the uh, Mindstone. So you are confused if you were already confused this purple card. So that comes into play last turn. So this turn Rocky will use that stone. But before that, uh, let's start by uh, removing the stun, uh, playing Karmic Blast. And I'll use... Actually, I could play... Senses, but I don't have enough, so yeah, I'm uh, using this to play Karmic Blast. We deal four, then uh, I will discard four cards and deal more damage. And we hit only one, so one extra damage to Loki. Then uh, I will discard this ready up uh, X uh, to remove the threat, go to Alter Ego. And uh, that is my turn, we ready up. I'll keep the Mystic Senses in hand, draw back up to 6, X rank counter card. So we still need two more cards. Uh, mystic, uh, make the call for justice, quantum magic, determination, counter punch, and mystic senses. We'll go to the villain phase. We get one threat here. Loki schemes for one, two, three, plus one is four. Then we get uh, confused. From the Mind Stone, that gets discarded. And uh, actually, 
I think when we de uh, defeated the war of our uh, Asgard, we forgot to trigger a new stone, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it should be four at least here. So I'm just uh, triggering this one. So discard the top four cards of your deck and place one threat to the main scheme. So I'll do that. Uh, trigger that now so we give a uh, lucky a bit of a break here so one two three four and the different kinds of cards support event upgrade event so three we'll add three threats here that is not nice but we have ways to deal with threats so then we get the encounter cards so trickster, uh, swap Loki with a random, set aside Loki, villain Loki, that's against you. So <laughs> we might actually lose the game here. So we are uh, shuffling the Lokis. And we get the Loki with the high uh, scheming. And schemes for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so... We lost the game here, so, and we got a frost giant, so, uh, let's count, so, five, six, seven, so, even without activating the, uh, extra stone here, that would have come into play, uh, even without getting this extra card, we would have lost on this turn, so, that just shows you how um, tight this threshold of 12 is. It is not an easy one to beat, so yeah. But still, uh, this scenario is not that complex. It's just quite hard to defeat Loki, so you need to know when you go to Alter Ego. And you, well, I, I had all of the threat removed from here, but we got two schemings and one with the six, uh, five scheming plus the boost card, so quite hard to deal with. But still, uh, the mechanics are that when you defeat Loki, we weren't even that far from defeating the first one. Uh, after that, you get the second one, which you get full health on, and you have to defeat that one. And after that, you win the scenario, so I think with a few more plays and knowing better when to go to Alter Ego and when to stay in hero mode, um, you are probably able to eventually defeat Loki with the Adam Warlock's pre-built deck. But of course, after deck building and being sure to have cards that to deal with the threat and with the damage input and every, everything like that, like high tune the deck, you are pretty certain on defeating Loki on standard difficulty. But that was uh, Loki on standard difficulty with uh, Adam Warlock pre-built deck from the uh, Mad Titan Shadow expansion box. Hope you guys liked this playthrough series. Thanks for watching and until next time.